Hello everyone. This channel provides the latest information on the Three Gorges Dam. If you are interested, please subscribe to our channel. Everyone loves the Three Gorges Dam. As of 8 a.m. local time in China on June 5th, the water level of the Three Gorges Dam was 145.67 meters, a drop of 4 meters compared to the water level on the 28th of last month. Looking at this dam from the upstream side, the water level seems to be around the line indicated. As of 3 p.m. yesterday, the flow rate at the upstream observation station was 11,100 cubic meters per second and the inflow to the Three Gorges Dam was 13,000 cubic meters per second. So, after subtraction, the total value from around the dam and from the tributaries was 1,900 cubic meters per second. The inflow to the Three Gorges Dam is even higher. As of 8 a.m., the total discharge from the Three Gorges Dam was 16,800 cubic meters per second. The maximum hydroelectric discharge capacity of this dam is 31,000 cubic meters per second, so it is estimated that the power generation is at 54%, which means that by simple calculation, around 17 hydroelectric turbines are in operation. Recently, they have been increasing the discharge volume for a while, but this morning they have reduced the amount. Nishi Yang Channel. Let's look at the information about the Three Gorges Dam released by the Hunan Provincial Hydrological Bureau of China. The discharge volume, shown in black, has been maintained at a high level, but was reduced just before the event. This is because the dam's water level has dropped to the minimum operational level. Meanwhile, there has been no significant change in the inflow volume. They will probably reduce the daily discharge volume so it is assumed that the dam's water level will be maintained at around 145 meters for a while. If you check the annual water level of the Three Gorges Dam, you will see that from January to early June, they gradually lower the water level in preparation for the flood season. When the rainy season begins, heavy rains cause several floods, and when the flood season ends, they raise the water level again to its maximum level. It is currently the time to lower the water level to its minimum but it will be interesting to see whether this summer will see continued heavy rain or just light rain. Looking back over the past four years, this has been the routine every year, but last year, due to a record drought, the flood season began without lowering it to the minimum line. So this year it will reach 145 meters for the first time in two years. Let's look at the 12-hour performance with Windy. These are the results up until 9 p.m. yesterday. Rain clouds spread in the area downstream of the Three Gorges Dam, and it seems that light rain was falling. A few rain clouds were also seen in northern China, which was a blessing. Meanwhile, in the southern part of the mainland, especially along the coast, clouds developed and there was heavy rain in some places. According to social media, rivers have overflowed and muddy water is flowing through residential areas. However, Official media has not provided any details about the damage. The Three Gorges Dam has three important roles. Flood control, power generation, and ship navigation. On the other hand, there are many issues to be solved, such as sedimentation caused by sand accumulating in reservoirs, destruction of the ecosystem and other environments, widespread climate change, cracks in concrete, and the ever-increasing garbage problem. They choose the optimal water level from the viewpoint of hydroelectric power generation, ship operation, etc., and continue to say that it is safe and secure. Is that correct? In particular, I have doubts about the recent water level situation. As far as our channel has researched, the area covered by the Three Gorges Dam is the area indicated by the red line. Next, let's look at the future forecast. Although there are thin rain clouds around the dam and upstream, it will remain sunny or cloudy for a while. Today's weather at the Three Gorges Dam is forecast to be cloudy with a maximum temperature of 30 degrees Celsius and a minimum of 18 degrees Celsius. In the south, there will be localized heavy rain, and looking at this, it looks like a huge linear precipitation band, or what we might call a dragon, may appear. The Three Gorges Dam is located in Yichang City, Hubei Province, Inland China, 
and this is what it looks like in cross-section. Yichang City is approximately 60 meters above sea level. They dug down about 50 meters to the foundation bedrock and built a 175-meter gravity concrete dam on top of that bedrock. Now, when you think of the Three Gorges Dam, many viewers probably have images of great floods and hydroelectric power generation. Surprisingly, it is also a popular tourist spot in China. It is reported that the number of visitors from January to June 2023 was 1.5 million, an increase of 50,000 from the same period in 2019, before the coronavirus. This is a photo taken during the long holidays. There is an observation deck overlooking the dam, but it is full of people. However, I would like to add that there are almost no foreigners seen before the infection. As the name suggests, the Three Gorges Dam is named Three Gorges because there are three canyons nearby. It's a scenic place, so it's a remote place surrounded by mountains and there's nothing around. It is surprising that an average of 8,300 people come to such a place every day. When I looked up the current entrance fee, it was 35 yuan for the basic course and 185 yuan for the optional set. When converted to dollars, it's about $5 to $25. I can understand if it's a famous attraction, but just seeing a dam that doesn't move is expensive. Sightseeing tours have been organized even before the dam was completed. I would like to go there at least once, but as you may have guessed, there is a possibility that I will be detained, so I won't go. Construction of China's Three Gorges Dam began in 1993 and was completed in 2009, making it one of the largest dams in the world. The dam was built primarily to control floods, provide electricity, and improve water transportation. The Three Gorges Dam Power Plant, the world's largest, is located here, with a power generation capacity of 22.5 million kilowatts, and has contributed greatly to China's energy supply. On the other hand, there are many problems associated with dams, and during the flood season, people often talk about the possibility of dams collapsing, so I think many people are aware of this. This is a video that summarizes detailed information about the Three Gorges Dam and is a popular video that has been viewed over 150,000 times so far, so please enjoy it. The URL is listed in the summary section. The rainy season has finally arrived, and the amount of rain will gradually increase in China. In 2019 and 2020, heavy rains and flooding continued, leading to speculation that the dam might collapse. On the contrary, from 2022 to 2023, there was a water shortage, and water was extremely scarce. Chinese meteorological authorities have announced early warnings of the possibility of extreme weather and high temperatures. This year, as of April, large-scale flooding has occurred in southern China. We will continue to provide you with the latest information, so please subscribe to our channel.